this. Now we have the only remaining um, green parts for this here. It goes one goes here and the other one goes here. And uh, then we take this part, put it like so in between. Whoops, the other way. Like that. Now there is a Uh, there is a clamp. Where did I put the clamp? Give me a second. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, the clamp type plastic, make sure that there is, it's in this specific position, as you can see. And you slide it in through the back until it you hear the clicking. There we go. So like that. This part here should go over this, of course. I forgot to put these trims on, so give me a second here. There we go. So looks like that. And then finally you bring this part down. Oops. Bring it right down through there. And there it is. The shoulders and, of course, the arm is now complete. Now, of course, like I did with the other parts, I'm going to leave it in its transformation mode of the destroyed mode. So with the arm, what you need to do is pull this part down a bit, if you can, until it exposes this green part, and then pull this out. Whoops, sometimes this thing comes out, so be careful. But you want to at least have it like that. As for this, remember I told you to keep make sure that this is locked down properly because you're gonna pull this up and then you're gonna flip this around and then bring this out like this. So the arm looks like that. This pretty much whoops, I'll make sure I wanna show both of you guys this. This pretty much completes the arm assembly. Now let's move on to the next part of the build. Alright, so the next part we're going to build is the waist unit of the Unicorn uh, Full Armor. And as you can see, the waist has already been pre-done prior for me, prior of uh, me uh, painting this. Um, let me see something here, I just want to make sure everything is done right. Okay, good. So I, I, before I started painting this, I had to remove this part. I didn't want to accidentally paint it, so now I put it back in. Everything else has been pre-done from the inside, so now the next thing to do is to put the outside armor and other stuff as well. So we will take this part here that goes... Mm, like what? Like this. Then... We have this part that we connect like that. Okay. This has already been pre done, and so is this, so the only thing I have to put in is this one. So that handles the front and part and front and back armor of the uh, waist. Now we need to get the skirts and we're going to need this, this, these two here, and these two, followed by two of these little small ones. And I knew I was missing a little bit of a part here, because I was sifting through it, and pretty much everything is, I'm so like blinded of white color right now, that it's just driving me nuts. So I will need this one. Always 
just the last part of Dresden that's I can't seem to find. Um, ah, there she goes. And it's this one. Okay, so we will need. Now uh, I was smart enough to paint both sides, because you never know how the paint, how the the color would look like in this trim. So taking this part here, um, yeah, I think I'll need this one. I will then put this right there, like so. Then I take this one, put it on like that, so it looks like that. Let's finish these two up. And we'll cover this two like that. Now, this part, I guess I have to keep it in this position, and then I take this one. And just, um, when I was looking, I didn't realize it. I actually painted one of the two parts, and then I realized I didn't have to paint it because it really wasn't going to be exposed. So. That one will go like that, closed. Then we'll do the other one. Then we close this one as well. Come on. There you go. So these two are done. And they go over here. Which now is my only gripe of this kit is I don't like I don't like the, the ball thing here where it supports it like this. But considering it's been painted, I guess it'll have enough, you know, um, strength on it to support the actual, uh, um, these things. Now, the back skirts. This is kind of interesting. Whoops. Like that. And that. Uh, Alright. So we'll need this one. No. This one. Make sure I got it in the right position. This part here, which we will close. And then this back skirt here, which will clamp onto the back area like that. So it goes like this. But it's not done yet because this part, we will take the thrusters that we've create, fixed up on, like that, and of course, didn't realizing it, let me remove this, you have to actually put it on, how? Like this, and then we close it up, alright, now I understand, so it has a thruster thing like that. Alright, so let's finish this up. Hmm. And then uh, you put them in on in the back, like so. So it looks like that. There's also two other parts here that I thought it was part of the leg belt, but in reality were the parts that connects the um, the leg, the joint to the leg. So it goes over here like that. And even though the manual does not say that I have to, I, the next part is the legs and not the actual side armor the side skirt armor. Uh, I separated the parts already, so I might as well get to it. So give me a second, got to find it first. Here we go. It's four parts, four or five parts here, so... Take this part. Connect this one to here. And then, take this part. Connect that through here and close it up like that. Let's finish this up so we're done.
Um, like that, snaps into place. And I close this up like that. One goes here. And the other one goes here. There we go. So that completes the waste unit of the um, of the unicorn, and of course to transform it, beginning here, I guess I have to bring this about like so, so it's like that. So it goes like this. So that goes like that, like little evil, evil little evil things. Um, the skirt, you have to open it up a bit because there's a part here that pops down, but I think I'm gonna have to, I'll deal with that later. The back part, you have to lift this, these two up, like so and then bring these two down, like so. Looks like one of the little aliens from Space Invader. Dun, 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 dun. All right, moving on to the next part. Now the next part we're gonna be moving on to is the feet and leg of the unicorn. And there's a lot of parts here for the, uh, for the foot itself, as you can see here. This one I had to actually pre-built uh, and airbrush it down so I could show you in the demonstration a couple of videos ago. And for this, I'm going to remove this guy here. I don't need to be there, nor are you. And then, taking the blue parts now that I painted before, cover this part like that, and then bring this down like so. My, I have to say, the blue came out really nice on this one. Kind of glad it did. Now, going back to this one, there's some parts that's been left over that I already attached to. It has to be in this position. And taking this, carefully make sure it's in this position. And then bring it around to here, where there's a little notch there. And then, with this part, you close it up, so it doesn't come out. Going back to this, slide this in there so it snaps into place. Keep this part up, and then one of the clear parts, you want to slide it in on top, which can be a little tough, so be careful. Uh, review the manual, make sure that you're in the right orientation, of course. realize I made a mistake here. It has to go in the opposite direction. And the reason why it has to look like this is because this has to be exposed so I can bring this part down. This part actually reminds me of the arm of like maybe the thigh armor or the leg armor but it's actually for the foot. And then just bring it down like so. <laughs> so it looks like that. And then carefully bring the part down like this. See? 